Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to share with you some toy ideas and activity ideas for a little newborn baby, so zero to three month old, really tiny, the really, really cute squishy ones. My name is Danielle. I have two little boys. I have a two year old toddler and a five month old baby. So these, I think there's five or six of them. So these five or six activities or ideas are things that I really like doing with my most recent son when he was in the zero to three month um, age group. Now, really young babies don't do very much. They're kind of little cute blobs. Even like for the first few weeks, they're not smiling or making eye contact until about around six week mark. So there's not a heap that you can do with them when they're really young. There gets more and more things that you can do with them when they reach, you know, two and three months old. But there are still some really nice things that you can do with your babies and toys that they can play with, even at that really, really young age. So the first toy, I'll put it in little quotation marks because it's not really a toy, but the first toy is actually to get them a really nice quilt. Now this is like a quilt pillow thing, so it actually folds up, but you do not need that. But get them a really nice quilt. So nice and thick that they can lay on on the ground or outside. And I highly recommend getting a really nice pattern. I have, I actually have three quilts. Uh, I've had two gifted to me after I'd had my first baby. But get a really nice pattern because you'll be taking a lot of photos of your baby on the quilt. So it's really nice to have one of these so they can do tummy time, so they can lay on their back and look at you, or you can sing to them, or they can just look around at the world. They will spend a lot of time on the ground on a quilt on their back or on their tummy. So you definitely get a really nice thick one of those. The next toy is more of an actual toy. It's an activity gym. So I have two of them. I have this one here. Um, this clips in and out, so it's got a little bike and pop, so you can actually store it away. So if you live in like an apartment or something and want to store it, this is probably a good option because you can store it just in a cupboard. And you put your baby under it and they can play with all the toys. So when they are zero to three months, they won't be playing with the toys. Their toys, they'll just lie there and look at them. When they get a little bit older, they'll start to hit them and grab them with their hands. So you just want these. They're more like a mobile for when their kids are really young. And then when they're a bit older, then they use their feet and hands to touch it. So I've got this one here, and then I've also got this wooden one here. So this one has holes, and you can add different toys in. So I like it because I can take these on and off. Um, you can see the latest toy is the measuring spoons. But you can put all kinds of things here. Again, just for your baby to look at in those early days, and then later on, my baby's starting to hit and grab them. So this one has a benefit because you can sit it straight over the baby and take it off without moving the baby while lying on the ground. Whereas with this one here, because it has a built-in floor, you, you put the baby um, under it, and you sort of put them under it. And then if you want to take them out of it, you actually have to lift them out. You can't just lift it off. So there's benefits of both. I like that I can change the toys on that one. This one I actually technically could change the toys as well. I just, I just don't. So consider them more of a mobile at the young age with the ability to go into an activity gym when they're a little bit older. Number three are high contrast black and white cards. Now, if you've done a little bit of research, especially um, with Montessori or something like that, you would have seen images of that, just a simple black and white um, shapes. I made some of my own and I wanted to make them a little more interesting than just the dots and lines or really simple, uh, simple um, images. So I actually did like the puffin and a cockatoo, um, a world map, there's a camel. Um, I did sort of an outdoors themed one with a, an ice axe and a skier. So you can see this one's like an accordion shape. So you can sit that on the ground um, so the baby can look at. These ones are double-sided and they fold. So you can sit them so they can look at them like this and then they move around. I did make a uh, YouTube tutorial on how to make these ones actually. So if you want to um, look at that, I'll link it below or maybe up above. They're really great because the eyesight of babies when they're really young is, is not very good. It's pretty fuzzy. So really strong black and white images are easy for them to look at and they find really interesting. You can get colored ones, they just have to be really simple and sort of high contrast. So imagine if you like, if you blur your eyes, imagine what you see and what you'd enjoy seeing as a baby, which is just really contrasting simple images. And I like to making them myself because I do like hand making some things for my baby just because it feels nice and wholesome and sweet. So you can make your own, you can buy them, you can get, you can print them out. You can also buy them in book form as well or little flashcard form. They're a great toy. Number four is a little bit along those lines. So that's getting really simple books. So I know they're super young and you know they're not really gonna be understanding what you're saying, but it's still lovely to read no matter what the age. So I had some great black and white books that I borrowed from the library, so I don't have those anymore. I also have some 
of these ones, which are touch and feel, which is more for later on, but they just have really simple, quite contrasting images. So it's still a really nice book for them to look at because they can just see the really simple colour differences. They're not touching them yet. That'll, that's sort of around the three, four, five months mark. They're just looking at them purely. So really simple, high contrast book, either black and white or all colour ones, but just simple. I said simple a lot, didn't I? Go with the book. Make them into little bookworms. Pictures of your baby's reading books is so cute. And it's really good for tummy time as well. So if you put your kid down for tummy time, you can just open a book and leave it in front of them. It's a nice thing for them to be able to look at as well. And then when they're a bit older, you can put it down and start touching on tummy time again. You can see I like tummy time. Number five is not a toy, but an activity. So singing to your baby. You might find this feels a little bit awkward to start with, but babies love the sound of their mum or dad singing. It's so cute. I've got the most sweet videos of me singing to both my kids and then just gazing up and gooing and garring. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. So I think start from when they're really, really young and just keep singing and doing little nursery rhymes, ones where you move their arms around as well. In sea weeds you spied, I climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed for and see ya. And I think apparently it's really good for their development as well, so bonus there. And the last one, number six, is an activity as well, and it is to just go outside. So nature is the best toy and sensory experience for babies. Just putting them in the pram or in a little carrier, lying on the ground looking up at leaves, they find it beautiful, feeling the wind in your face, putting their toes in the grass dipping their fingers in the water. They're all amazing sensory experiences. And it's also really good for a mum's mental health, I think, to just go outside because sometimes with a little baby, you can feel very like trapped inside on the couch, feeding, feeding, feeding. So getting out with a bit of movement, a bit of exercise and feeling that nature around you can really be helpful for you and the babies love it as well. So that's all for this video. Just six toys and activity ideas for you to do with your little newborn baby. I'll make another video for the three to six month mark as well when the babies are moving around doing a few more things. So look out for that video when I make that next. Bye.